welcome back we are with the director of passion at embark otara you're a graduate from uh, a foreign university your your angle in private education in sri lanka um well i, I mean i think um, there is a lot of it now and um, yeah so i think it's it's uh, you know it's needed and it's uh, obviously um, um, you know everyone has to have the opportunity to have to have both options um but um i think probably um you know what they do what everyone doesn't have equal opportunity in life to to be able to access that that private um education so i think um that's probably where you know um, the, this challenge is is occurring where um i think they have to um you know it's it's not people got from different um platforms of of being able to to access these these two forms of um of education and i think that's what has to change is that everyone should have the opportunity to um you know to in life to be able to ac access both and i think that's um that's probably how you know what the future has to go so it's something uh, it's something that uh, should be in the system so yeah i mean i think it's a lot of it's it is, already there, there already, but people yeah. are trying to stop it and like yeah but i think it's only to do with one one area mostly and um which which they have reasons to um to talk i mean they have their reasons and i think it just needs to be you know addressed and, and solved um, for them and i think um, i think you have to look at it from from where you know the, the eyes of 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 who the people are and you know and the life you know the op- the it's not a, i'm not talking about the education but the their whole life the opportunities uh, are not equal and um, i think um, so that's something that um, has to be um, has to be looked at one of the biggest issues these days that we are going through is deforestation uh something that you propose to curtail this issue um i think um it is something that needs to be addressed urgently because i think we have uh um, come to a level a critical point um of um, where we are with our forest cover and you know it's always been about um you know development and and that has always come come first at the expense of our forests and our wildlife and the environment uh without looking at the at a balance at a true sustainable we always talk about sustainable development but it's it's not there it's 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 not it's just a word that's used it's not practiced and um and especially for a country like sri lanka Uh, which is an island and which requires its forests for for our water for our for our oxygen for our for a healthy life um besides the fact of of the of the wildlife um that um that we have that needs that needs an area to 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 live um <clears throat> i think it's absolutely critical that that um it is addressed and that the laws are implemented there are good laws but the law they're, they're not implemented uh they're not uh, enforced in many cases and i think it has to become a prior- priority because i think we are it's not like it was 15 20 30 years ago because i think we have pushed it to a limit of um of where it's now um being uh, giving us a negative impact and you know it's it's so visible we're just not listening we're just not looking we're just not understanding thousands are dying thousands are suffering because of landslides drought floods um you know and all these sort of environmental um catastrophes that are happening and you know they are all warning signs of from nature but we refuse to listen we refuse to address it and we just carry on in the same way that we've been doing for so many years and you know at some point it is going to to have a serious impact on on um, on our lives on all our lives and uh, and also future generations we only think of us today we are very short term in what we think um you know we all we care so much about ourselves today we don't look at our children's future their children's future um and i think you know we are at that point we are at that tipping point where we have to um, really look at it and and address it seriously um before before it gets too late to reverse definitely uh your views in politics in sri lanka <laughs> I'm entertaining <laughs> often <laughs> frightening um yeah i guess uh, this, uh, <laughs> that's a whole different topic i think <laughs> uh should the higher ups in politics offer you a post in environmental issues would you consider taking in that <laughs> well i was offered um two posts which i um which i uh, turned down uh no it has not to do with the environment 
uh, but you know, it's um, it's not about me having a post or not. People who are there can actually make it make a make a difference to um, if if it if it just becomes you know a priority for um, for for what for what is required for the country. And you know what it, where we are today is not the same of where we were ten years ago or fifteen years ago or twenty years ago. And um, and like I said, I think it's it's really important that we see what's happening around us today, and um, and address it um, urgently. And um, you know, our elephant population is suffering. Uh, I think it's incorrect about how about the population increasing, and that's why the this conflict is happening. I mean, we are humans. We have a brain. We we can think well. I think we need to know that we are we are encroaching day by day by day into their habitats and. And obviously, they all need to eat, um, you know. And and animals would only come into conflict with humans when they're so desperate that they want that they're looking for food for their families. And you know, we are intelligent humans. We should understand that, and uh, and uh, we should see what's what we are doing to our amazing country that has all this um, natural heritage that no country in the world has. And uh, and really, I see a, a future or Sri Lanka where we can all live in harmony, where our environment is protected, where the animals can live happily, where the people can live happily, um, and where we can all benefit from, uh, from protecting our environment and wildlife, and where the humans can also um, you know, benefit from that and live in, in harmony. I, I, I think it's possible. <laughs> it is, uh, definitely. So uh, our viewers would love to listen to Tara's future business plans. Any new ventures coming up? Uh, what is happening? Any, any change happening with Embark? Um, yes, I'm working on Embark and you know trying to. I, I have you know, as you know few few stores and and the brand as well. And the brand, you know, I have it. It's it's again like I've started from the beginning was is really to to raise money for for the work with the with the dogs. But you know it's small at the moment and uh, and we'll see how it goes. I'm you know I'm uh, I have to see how it develops and we'll see in a few years. <laughs> we pick individuals who who are already excelling that's why we call this program the game changers so uh, people people would love to listen to you a few words of inspiration uh, to de them in general um, well uh, you know it's it's um, I think it's important with where we are um, today to realize that it's it's really not about uh, about um, us or you or, or me um, or, or you know what what we want to achieve. I think none of us are successful. None of us are are great. None of us are the biggest, the largest, whatever, uh, or the best at anything. Uh, you know, as long as other lives in our own country are, are suffering, and um, you know, and are facing such difficulties each day. And I have seen it over the last so many years, last especially over the last two years. With, you know, to both to do with animals and people. And I don't think each, any of us are successful until we all are, all can live an, um, a life where, where you have equal opportunity and, and, where, and where there is no suffering and, um, and where we are conscious of it um, and you know, where we, we believe that together that we can make a difference. Because I think day by day we are always um, fed things to, um, to divide us, to not unite us, to not let us stand up, to not, not let us speak out for, for those who are less fortunate than us. And you know, we're always kept distracted through race, through, um, through religion, through politics, through party, through different forms to keep us divided because you know, we each have great power within us, but uh, if you don't, don't realize that and we're always told that we don't, um, then nothing will happen, you know, to, to change the lives of these, um, of, of all of us, for a, for a better future for all. So I think we need to 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 believe that we have, uh, you know, we have the power within us, and it's all in our hands. It's not in anyone else's hands. So um, uh, so I think we need to be more conscious of those who are suffering around us, and together we have to make a difference for 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 them. If not, we're not a good country, and we're not good people, and we're not. We're not conscious human beings who can be proud of ourselves. Divided we fall, united we stand, says Utara Del Gunavaduna. Thank you very much for sparing your valuable time here with us. We wish all the very best for your with your future endeavors. 
and thank you for being here. Your your views on the program Game Changers? Well, um, I, I, I will watch it and I watch the past programs as well and thank you for having me. It's, um, it's always a pleasure to, um, to speak to, to people like you who are having these programs. So thank you and um, I wish the program all the very best in the future as well. That's the director of Passion at Embark and Otara Foundation, Otara Del Gunavadana. We'll be back next week with another intense, exciting episode on the Game Changers. Till then, goodbye.